ISRO's second mission in 2023 has taken off successfully. The largest indigenous rocket LVM-3 along with 36 satellites is now en route space. This is the second commercial mission performed by this particular rocket, the LVM-3 or launch vehicle Mark III. This is India's largest rocket built by the Indian Space Research Agency, ISRO. It's called the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark III, also known as LVM-3. The rocket has had an amazing track record. It's delivered successes in all its five launches to date. In October 2022, the LVM-3 flew a commercial mission for the very first time. UK-based telecom firm OneWeb has signed up with ISRO's commercial arm for two launches. This was an agreement to launch 72 satellites in two batches of 36 each. It would bring in more than $125 million in revenue for India. OneWeb is launching a fleet of satellites that would beam down internet signals back to the Earth. OneWeb is also piecing together a constellation of more than 600 satellites. So far, OneWeb has completed 17 launches. Today's launch in India's Sri Harikota is the final launch. After today's launch, OneWeb would have more than 600 satellites in low Earth orbit. These satellites will then beam down internet connectivity across the globe. S-200 motors, which is on the basis of the first motor. One motor... So on this, we're now being joined by Ajay Lele, consultant, Manohar Parikar Institute for Defense Studies and Analysis. Welcome to the broadcast, sir. Thank you. Now, the LVM-3 launch has just taken place. It is the redesignated title of India's heaviest launch vehicle and also India's largest rocket built by ISRO. Tell us about the significance of the launch and what it means for ISRO and India. Uh, ISRO is launching satellites uh, for the commercial operators since 1999. However, for many years, ISRO was launching satellites uh, by using its own launch vehicle called PSLV, uh, which was meant for the purposes of launching satellites for ISRO. So whatever remaining space used to be there in this particular vehicle, uh, the commercial satellites used to piggyback and then they, they were launched. Uh, subsequently, over a period of time, there was a realization that there is a growing need uh, for a launch vehicle, which will be used exclusively for the commercial purposes. Uh, realizing this need, ISRO had modified its GSLV Mark III vehicle, which is essentially to launch heavy satellites into geostationary orbit uh, for launching satellites into a low Earth orbit. Uh, so this GSLV has been now named as uh, LMV, which is the vehicle which has been used today successfully to put 36 satellites out into the space. Uh, before this mission, the first mission of this vehicle happened during October 2022. Uh, that mission also was a successful mission. Uh, so now ISRO has launched 72 satellites for one well. Uh, if you slightly trace back the history of launching of these satellites, uh, it was Russia who was helping OneWeb, which is a U.S. agency, to launch the satellites for them, for their constellation, uh, for developing internet services based on low-Earth orbit satellites. However, owing to Ukraine war, Russia was put under sanctions and UK was looking right. for alternatives. And India grabbed that alternative and today India has done a successful test second time. Right, I was just coming to that, that uh, with the latest launch, LVM-3 is also making its entry into the global commercial launch service market, like you just mentioned. Tell us more in terms of how ISTO is establishing itself as a reliable launch option in today's time. Uh, as far as ISRO is concerned, ISRO has got one of the most trusted vehicles called PSLV, that is uh, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. That vehicle has been providing excellent services to ISRO uh, for many years now. And that vehicle has been used for many years for launching commercial satellites too. Uh, like I was making earlier a mention that ISRO's vehicle is essentially meant to launch ISRO satellites, uh, the satellites which are required for India's social, economic, educational, medicine, and other weather related developments. So there used to be very less space available into uh, those vehicles for launching commercial satellites. Modern day commercial satellites normally come in a category of what we say around 500 kg satellite. Uh, they are interested to launch those satellites into low Earth orbit. So there was a need felt that we required to acquire the market of a low Earth orbit satellites. Then we need to have a separate vehicle. So ISRO has found two vehicles for these purposes. Uh, this year only 
Uh, just few months back, ISRO has launched a vehicle called Small Satellite Launch Vehicle, which is again an exclusive vehicle meant for commercial launches. So now ISRO has got two tested vehicles where they can undertake the launching on the commercial basis exclusively. And this vehicle is now will be operated subsequently by India's private sector. So there will be a public-private partnership in ensuring that the entire gamut of getting into the market of launching satellites into low Earth orbit will be handled both by commercial players and there will be a backhand of ISO uh, providing the technology and other technical wherewithal. Right. My last question to you before I let you go. Um, tell us about the future plans of ISRO as it soars high in the skies. Uh, as far as ISRO is concerned, I think uh, there are a lot of interesting missions which are coming forward. Uh, there was a little setback to ISRO's mission, mission that was Chandrayaan-2, that is the mission to the moon. Uh, because that mission was partially successful, the satellite was launched perfectly, but the rover and the lander system, which was supposed to operate from the surface of the moon, had failed. Uh, so ISRO is now going to uh, attempt one more launch where they will be putting a rover and a lander system on the surface of the moon. That launch will happen in a couple of months now. It is known as Chandrayaan-3. Then ISRO has got a very interesting launch lined up called Aditya L1. This launch will be basically to look at and understand and observe the sun. Uh, very less amount of research has happened in this area. And I think ISRO satellite will definitely fill that research gap, which is there globally. Then there are a few other interesting launches which are there. ISO is planning a human mission to the uh, space also. Uh, this mission got delayed because of the COVID crisis. Now ISRO is step by step making a progress into these missions. Uh, it is expected that by end of this year, the first uncrewed mission could be launched. And subsequently by end of next year, or uh, say early 2025, ISRO would be launching the mission called Gaganyan, where three Indian astronauts will be going to the outer space. So there are a lot of missions which are there. And I'm sure that ISRO scientists are working over time to ensure the problems which they faced because of a COVID crisis are overcome uh, quickly. Right, absolutely. It has indeed been a big day for ISRO and India. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing insights with us. Thank you.